Yay, yay. Okay, good morning. Good morning. I think we have it. So let's double check here. Let's go to my page. All right. Happy Saturday, everybody. While I'm trying to figure this out, good morning, good morning. Um, I'm happy to be here again this morning. I feel like there's a little bit of a glare, so if you guys need me to update that, let me know. But I'm trying to get this going. Um, I think we're good. So uh, please, everyone, let me know you're here. Good morning, good morning. I am still fighting with trying to get everything accurate with this Facebook. I'm going to start streaming to YouTube, so I hope that you'll... Um, go to my links that I have in the description or it's supposed to be there but I, I don't know that it's there to be honest but I don't want to keep you too long good morning my name is Terry Brummagem I'm from Loveland Colorado I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator coming on live with you this morning in my business page called Crafts a Latte please let me know if you are here like comment share my page um, I'm really excited to be coming back, you guys. I know it's slow going because of what I've been through. But um, if you want an update on what's going on with my hands and my finger, uh, just go to the previous video um, that was, I don't even know. Um, but I just appreciate all of you coming on. And I it looks like it's very blurry. So if somebody can let me know if you can see it okay, that would be amazing. Um, but I wanted to come on because I realized, you guys, that I haven't even come on with one of my favorite sets because, hence, uh, I obviously love coffee. And this is an online exclusive, and what that means is it's not in our annual catalog. Um, you would go to Shop Now, and on the tab, it's going to say either um, online exclusives or... Um, there's different ways that you can get to it. So in other words, it means that it's not in the catalog. But what I have done in my catalog is I have printed all of the online exclusives. And there's a link for that in my Facebook group and page. So you just look for online exclusives and there's some ama amazing projects still in there. But the one that we're going to be working on today is called Lot latte love it's actually a suite what does that mean to you you can get coordinating paper with it coordinating ribbon embellishments and then of course the bundle um which is over here and you can get either just the dies you can get the stamp set but when you do get the bundle you save 10 percent and stampin up is having a big sale right now until the end of the month in addition to this discount, you get an additional 10% off all bundles with dies and also all of our Stampin' Cut and Embossing machines. If you are a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, you're also going to get that minimum additional 20% off. So it's always a good time to join if you like to be a hobbyist and a discount shopper or if you want to try to do it as a business, just let me know. But these are some fun things. I'll try to show you as much as I can some of the live product. But on Saturday mornings, we try to come on and just um, do a real quick project. But I just have some other samples here, too. But this is the fun paper. I'm not going to go through it um, step by step because, um, you know, we're, we're limited on time on Saturday mornings. So if you have any questions about that, just shop my online store. You can also go to Stampin' Up! Um, Terry Brummagem at Stampin' Up! or just go to craftsalatte.com, hit shop now. And I always ask that you use the host code um, that enables me to come on, give prizes, different things. So for anybody who does like, comment, and share, you get to go into a drawing to possibly win this fun project today. So I'm going to tell you real quick, um, this is a project that I made when I went to what's called on stage. So I go into a swap and we make fun projects. So I just wanted to show you what I did here. I filled this little tube with chocolate covered raisins and I thought that that looked like coffee. And then um, just a real fun little gadget to make somebody's day. And so... Um, I'll try to come on and show you guys how to do that as well. I don't know why it's getting so blurry, but I apologize for that. Well, good morning, my friend. Good morning, Aaron. How are you? You're probably on your way to serve 6-8. Um, the pop-up, that's always so amazing that you guys do that. Um, but I'm so happy to have you here this morning. So this is just a little fun thank you, too, that 
Um, we actually cut out a designer series paper. So I'll give you one of the examples that's not this one. But you can come in with dies and cut out some of these particular ones. Um, but again, this morning, we're just going to be coming on live. But I think that this was given to me from my friend Deborah, if I remember. Um, so I'm going to put that over there. Because the one that we're actually going to do today is just a really cute little gift card, gift card holder. I think it's so, so important to constantly be... Um, paying it forward and gifting things. So I've been asked for some thank you things. And so I thought that this would be really cute to come on. Very simple. So I'm going to go ahead and put that um, over here to give me some room here. Now I went ahead and pre-scored um, some of the things. I don't know what my Facebook is doing. I'm like getting these blurps of these weird colors on my screen. Are you guys seeing me okay? Or is it blurry? Um, just let me know. So we're going to be starting with pecan pie and uh, we're going to score on the short side. So I wanted to just show you guys this real quick how this is going to work because um, let's see, it's going to go like this. So this was on the short side, eight and a half by 11, right? So this is considered the short side. So we're going to come in and score at three and a quarter it's actually going this way sorry um three and a quarter and if you want me to bring in my machine to let you guys know what that means but we're gonna go ahead and score at three and a quarter three and three quarters and then seven and a half and then this is going to enable you to have one two three four of these thank yous out of one sheet of eight and a half by eleven which is why i wanted to make sure i showed that to you what I also do for all my card templates and all my card classes, I always score the paper first to get more use out of that paper, right? So again, you'll be able to get four projects out of this. So I already have this one done. Let's move that out of the way. Then we're going to go ahead and come in with some of that cute, cute designer series paper. I don't know what is the best way to make sure that you guys can still see because again, um, make sure you use the host code if I've given you inspiration, but if your order is more than 150, make sure to not use that host code because I want you to earn those rewards, okay? So again, um, this is just the base, and then once you score it, you're just going to come in at a fold. You can use your bone folder for that. Let me go ahead and pull that in right here. So what you do is you just do what's called burnish on those score lines to make them nice and crisp. And let's go ahead and get this one going too, okay? So for those of you that have been following my little injury here, I have great news. Um, I am getting better every day, so I so much appreciate all of your prayers and all of your well wishes because I got my stitches out this week and everything's looking good. So my second revision surgery, the screw is no longer loose, you guys. So I no, have a, I no longer have a loose screw, little punt intended there. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, I, I still have a ways to go, but um, yeah, God is good. Well, good morning, Michelle. Good morning, Penny. How is everybody doing? Good morning, Mom. Good morning. I know I had some troubles getting on myself, so I apologize for that. So anyway, here is our little base, right? How cute is this splatter paper, you guys? And um, how many times have you been witness to me spilling my coffee or have you spilled your coffee? Um, but the measurement for this one is three by two and a half. That's going to go on one of my favorite colors, which is called Lost Lagoon. And this is going to be three and an eighth by two and five eighths. And we're going to be adhering that together. But I like to lay out all my pieces and show you guys first what we're doing. We're going to have another piece of Lost Lagoon at that two and five eighths by seven eighth inch. And that's going to go here. And then we have a fun designer series paper here that's the stripe. Make sure it's going up and down. And this one is two and a half by three and uh, by three quarter inch. That will be adhered here. And then I have some fun little things that we're going to do. But let's go ahead. Everything looks good. Let's go ahead. I'm going to bring in my silicone mat. I love this when I'm um, doing any kind of adhering with adhesive, whatever. I'm going to go ahead and use my stamp and seal today. I have been getting more and more used to using the um, liquid glue, but I've also been having some troubles trying to um, get it to come out of my tubing. So we're just going to go ahead and come like this because it's hard for me to push it with my finger. It's the oddest thing. 
So we're gonna go ahead and just lay this flat. Um, I enjoy so much all of you that are joining me on a Saturday morning. That's why we usually do either coffee and a card or just coffee in one project because um, I have other lives where we come in and maybe do the um, suite or the bundle of the month and then we do different things with that. So um, to let you guys know, I'm gonna be adding some events on my live. I'm gonna be doing some technique Tuesday or Thursday, haven't figured out when, but I really wanna be able to try to come on more with you guys. Um, I've been asked because um, you guys enjoy that and that makes me so happy. So um, look for that. And then I'm gonna also be bringing back Mystery Monday stamping where I give you guys ahead of time measurements and then we just come on live together and it's a surprise what it ends up turning out to be. So be on the lookout for that. So if you have not signed up for my newsletter or clicked the three dots on my live here to get notifications, I'm gonna be trying to come in full force, you guys, and um, try to do this with all of you as I'm healing, right? Um, let's go ahead now. So that's all done. Now let's go ahead and show you the stamp set and some tips and tricks for that. Love this coffee. Um, if you are ever in question about how big an item is, you can kind of tell that it's true image when you do get the stamp set or when I demonstrate for you guys. Okay, so that's the coffee cup that we're going to be using. And then this little piece here is going to be where it is the actual coffee itself in the cup. Okay, and then this cute little saying, um, this one's on me. And, you know, I'm always asking my friends or my family to meet me for coffee because I love coffee and I love fellowship. And how fun would it be to maybe drop this off at somebody's doorstep or their office or whatever and say, hey, how would you like to join me Thursday for coffee? I could really use a friend and maybe you can too. So this is just so easy. But then what we're going to do, you guys, is we're going to open it up. This is how I've been storing my dyes. Um, I label them. And then I put on there if it's an online exclusive or if it's in the catalog. But then this is my dies. And I will trace them right away to make sure that um, I'm not missing any because um, I've had some mishaps there. And then these are the stamps that are photopolymer. I love that they're see-through. But it's just a really, really fun set, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and take this out because I've already pulled out the die that or maybe I didn't. Uh, we're going to be using the coffee cup die, so let me go ahead and pull this out. But before we do that, let's go ahead and get it stamped. So here's my little scrap of piece of paper here to go ahead and stamp this with our Mementos Tuxedo Black. Well, I'm glad you love it, Pen. I hope you're doing well today. Um, been saying our prayers over you. So I love to get updates. So this is what we're going to do here. And what I have been learning, you guys, is it is sometimes better to stamp first before you attempt to die because I can't stand it when it moves. So what that means is you would go ahead and bring in this lovely die, okay? And you're just going to, you know, put it over your die. And if there is a circle there that means that it's meant and intended to go inside of something to try to make it straight. But I just want to show you guys, if you don't have a magnetic plate, then uh, make sure that you come in with washi tape or a sticky note or something. And all you're going to do is go like this. Uh, mine just always seemed to move on me. So I like to come in with just a little bit of adhesive, put it in place. And then I'm going to go and run it through the stamp and cut and emboss machine. And here we go. Look at how fast I was able to do that. So then we're going to go ahead and color that. And I'm going to show you how I do that but I just got a couple of more tricks for you. Because the saying on here is quite small, the pecan pie is actually a half of an inch by one. So I'm gonna show you what I did and go ahead and stamp the, this one's on me just to show you that I just went like this, okay? And then we're going to adhere it to the brown or you can cut it first. But I wanna show you just a real little trick that what I did, when you have real small images, I save all of my white scraps. 
because you never know when you might have a very small strip that you want to use. Well, good morning, Billy. Good morning. So um, a lot of our measurements are about a half of an inch when we um, cut down our five and a quarter by four. So I save all of these strips, but it can wiggle on you when you try to cut it. So what I like to do, because this is an eighth of an inch smaller than a half an inch by one, right? So what I like to do is I like to bring it in. I hope you guys can see this. I like to bring it in where I want it. And then instead of trying to, you know, close my flap here, try to hold it, you guys, what you're going to do is you're just going to take another piece of washi tape or a sticky note, hold that down. That's going to enable you to come in and get that in a straight strip instead of it moving on you. Okay. So I just wanted to show you a little trick there when you're using little strips like this, that it, it's very easy. And then what I did is we have that pecan pie. And so again, I'm just going to come in and show you guys what I did. Got my scissors here and I just went in, I did this one a little bit over and then we're just going to do the same thing on this side. And it might be easier to show you going this way to make sure that you do it the right way. Anyway, it's, it doesn't have to be perfect. Then you're going to adhere that down and then do the same thing with the pecan pie. And it's going to come out looking like this. Okay. So uh, that is all of our stamping for this morning. Now I'm going to take you right in and show you what we did with the coloring of the blends. I absolutely love Stampin' Up's blender pens. So that's what we used on this one is the Light and Dark Lost Lagoon. People ask me all the time how I do my coloring. And there's a couple of different tricks. I like to come in with my dark first. And I like to come in with this end, which is the fine tip. And I love that Stampin' Up provides the lines already on the images. So you're just gonna come in and on all of the lines that are provided already for Stampin' Up, you're just gonna come in and do some shading, okay? And so you'll just do that wherever you want and that's the dark, okay? I'm not gonna do all of it because um, I've already done some of it so that it's already done. I'm just showing you how to do it. So then you would come in with the light and the bigger end and then you're just gonna start to color all over and then that's gonna bring in shading. One thing that I realized that I didn't do is let's go ahead and come in with the Stampin' Up provided pecan pie stamp pad and go ahead and slide that in like so. Now we're gonna go ahead and come in with that coffee and everyone should share with me, hence anytime I'm able to gift you a cup of coffee, what kind of beverage everybody likes and what you prefer. I love knowing that. Um, I don't know that I know by heart everybody's drink, but I like to have it in my notes where I can go and surprise somebody and maybe you want to do the same for somebody else. So anyway, this is what it's going to turn out like when you're done. I've already gone ahead and put the large dimensional on to save us some time. So Stampin' Up! has large dimensionals and small, and I'm going to be using both and I'll show you how. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to bring in my take your pick tool, which is one of my favorite tools and go ahead and assist me with taking off the sticky end of this. And we're just going to plop it right in the center here. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Then what we're going to do is that little piece that I already stamped and cut. I put a mini dimensional all on just on the one side because we're gonna overlay it onto the flat. So we're gonna go ahead and go like that. And then we're gonna add just a little bit of adhesive on this side to adhere to the coffee cup like so, okay? And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. However that fits for your liking, okay? Now, let me go ahead and show you what I did here. So you need to be able to have the gift card fit in, right? So go ahead and bring your stapler in and you're gonna go ahead and you can do it one of two ways. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it because this one, I just don't like the look of that, you know, 
You could cover it with paper too, but I'm gonna make sure to turn it over so that that edge is um, in the middle here and then we're gonna cover it with the bow, okay? So it's a straighter edge, you can see it more, but you just don't want anyone to poke themselves or whatever. And you can, again, cover that if that's your choosing. So then you're gonna come in like so, right? So now we have our gift card that's gonna fit perfectly in here. You're gonna fold it like that, tuck it under. That's our cute little gift card here. Then I wanna show you this ribbon that we have. Again, it's an online exclusive, it's the natural and it is actually called natural 3 8 inch polka dot trim and i want to show you some really cute things you can do with this it's a lot of ribbon and it looks like this it's like a, a real thick twine but i'm going to show you a couple of different things but what i did is i just knotted it for us and then we're going to go ahead and come in with stampin up glue dot and go ahead and find your glue dot and fold it over like so and then bring your ribbon in push it down real good and then i'm gonna bring i'm gonna come in with my take your pick tool and i'm just gonna go ahead and cover that staple now and then just kind of maneuver where you want your ribbon to go and i see that i want to cut this one off just a little bit hold it there cut that off boom there we have it. So how cute is that, you guys? So, so quick and easy. But I wanna show you a trick that you can do with this really thick um, ribbon here, okay? My friend Deborah showed me this. And what you're gonna do is you come in and you see all these scragglers here, right? This looks like the twine that comes individually. But what's really cute about it is if you look closely, I don't know if you can tell, but the polka dots are already on it. So if you don't want to use the ribbon thick like this, then all you would need to do is come in with your scissors like so, okay? And you're just gonna cut the strip down like this and then it's gonna start to pull, okay? And then you just continue to pull. So you end up with, I don't know, six or eight, one, one, two, three, four, yeah. So you just continue to pull apart and obviously you would cut it all the way down. But this is a great way, you guys, to really utilize a lot of possibilities to do a lot of projects, okay? So again, you can use it just by itself with the cute polka dots or continue to cut it up and pull. And um, I just love showing you guys tips and tricks to make sure that your money can go much further because we know everything can be pricey. And then uh, let's go ahead and add one more thing, you guys. Also, what comes in this suite are these really cute adhesive back swirl dots, and they come in the three different colors that are coordinating with the suite. So let's go ahead and add, I'm just gonna use my scissors here. And actually, no, that's not gonna work with my, I can't grip it. So I don't know, should we just do one pink? What does that look like? We don't even maybe need it, you know what I mean? But if you want to, you can. Let's just add one just for grins to say we did. But this is a really cute way, you guys, to transfer to a card um, with this fun little inspiration, right? So I thank everybody again for joining me this morning. It is, geez, what is today? Is it the 8th or the 7th? I don't even know. But it is Saturday morning in June um, and I'm so glad that we were able to get together this morning and make some cute projects. I have so many copy projects that I would like to come on and show you guys. So if you're a fan of this particular suite, let me know. Again, I thank you for joining me and if I've given you any inspiration this morning, please go to craftsalatte.com, hit shop now, and that will take you directly to my online store. Until next time, everybody, I appreciate you so much. Go and have a safe and blessed Saturday morning. Bye-bye now.